Oh, oh my god. This shit looks like Django Fett's pistol, man. Oh my god. What is going on with Modest and welcome back to another video. If this is your first time on the channel and you don't know what Modism is, Modism is a religion of modding vehicles. Not only that, but we heavily advocate for safety, open-mindedness, and respect. If you want to learn more about that and represent Modism to the world, be sure to go to the link in the description below and click on Modism.com. That's where all of our merchandise and information are available. Anyways folks, in case you guys missed the last video, we sanded down that other side skirt and I confessed about a secret addiction I've been having. Thank you guys so much for all your support. If you're curious about what I'm referring to, be sure to check out last week's video once you finish this one. Anyways folks, we're in a bit of a rush today because I got to do some last minute things before we get the car wrapped. I'm actually dropping the car off today because unfortunately I had to wait for the Amazon truck to drop off my materials. It's going to be a bit of a time crunch but nonetheless it should be super fun because today we are going to be removing the OEM spoiler and if you guys didn't know the 10th gen Civic Si has holes all across the trunk to install the spoiler. I don't know why they decided to do that but that's just how it is. So before we get the car wrapped we're going to patch up those holes with some fiberglass and Bondo. That way once the car is wrapped it'll look perfectly smooth. Enough talking let's get into it. Ko is just chilling in the rear seats. First things first, you're gonna wanna remove these pins. Got another one here, one up there, another one here, another one there. Bang, 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 and that one's gone. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a lot easier than I thought. Nice. Last one. Oh, oh my god. Damn. If I'm correct, we're gonna have to remove that 10 mil it looks like. Got another one on this side. And in between you will have these pins. But first we gotta disconnect the third brake light so we don't yank it out. Just like that, the light is disconnected. Hey, what's up buddy? This shit looks like Django Fett's pistol, man. If you know, you know. Okay, I believe the next step is to just pop it off. I might actually break the clips. Ah! What the hell? Whoop, there we go. Ah. Oh my god. Well, good thing we ain't reusing that. Hey, surprisingly, none of these are broken. Yay, there we go. That was a lot easier than I thought. So we are now left with this disgusting adhesive on here. We're gonna go ahead and remove these little grommets and then clean up this and we should be ready for Bondo. For this I just have some rubbing alcohol. Eee. He keeps sticking his head out there but it looks pretty sick seeing the car like this. I've never seen it without the spoiler before. I got most of the grommets out off camera but basically all I've been doing is just popping one side like this till you hear a little snap like that and then I will stick my finger under here while moving to the other side and popping that. Because if you just do one side at a time, it'll keep going back in. So we now have everything cleaned up. I started sanding a little bit on this spot because part of the hole was raised. So I kind of just want to flatten it out before I start the fiber last process. Just gotta make sure everything looks nice, you know what I'm saying? Now we have all the holes covered with tape. That's basically the whole job. I'm just playing around. But now that means we can start on the underside. Those spots are gonna be easy to access, but as far as the ones that I can't really access from the bottom, I'm gonna have to do a sketchy patch job. So I've cut a small rectangle out. This is gonna be my test one I'm gonna put it right there everything else I'm gonna have to do off camera just because it's really hard to film it I saw many people use port 15 but I wasn't able to find it so this is the second best option just finished patching everything up it might be really hard to see because the angles in here are super weird but yeah I ended up covering all of the holes some of them I was able to cover them by luck and by some of them I mean this one specifically all the other ones I was able to access but this one right here, I couldn't see what I was doing and then I finally grabbed a little mirror after the patch was done. I also just removed the rear badge, that way it'll be easier for Joseph to wrap it. I'm super hyped y'all, I have never done anything this drastic to my car before. It's gonna be completely color changed, it's not an OEM color whatsoever. On top of that, I ordered the spoiler I wanted to install yesterday. Not sure when it'll arrive, but when it does, I'm sure that everything is gonna look spiffy. So I just removed the first two pieces of tape, that is the fiberglass sheet underneath. And as you can see, it is literally just tucked right there. Just going through and making sure that all the pieces are still there. 
Oh, that is beautiful. Also, removing the tape is gonna help things dry faster. Considering this is my first time doing this, I actually didn't do a bad job. I'm very surprised I was able to figure out how to patch all the holes, because a good four of them are in easy locations and everything else, you kind of just have to guess. But that does not look bad at all. We're just gonna speed up the process with this hair dryer. From the Bondo kit, I'm just gonna be using this as well as the hardener it comes with. And I know I bought spreaders, but I'm gonna be using this little tiny one that it came with just because it's more precise. All right, let's see what this looks like. Oh, interesting. Damn, what's this like? Some Lay's chips in you fill it up all the way. Let's not waste the good stuff. Not really sure how much I'll need for all of those little holes, but I think I'm gonna go for a little bit more rather than less. I know this is probably a lot, but just to be safe here, I'll go with a little bit more. Okay, I think that's good. Wow, this stuff is thick. Okay, next we're gonna go in with the hardener. Not really sure how much to use, it just says to use a little bit. But, from the videos I've seen... I think that's good. This is my favorite part, y'all. I always see this in videos. Now I get to finally do it. Gotta mix everything in. I like the colors. This is so satisfying. Anyone that does body work for a living, I am as amateur as it gets. If you could, please leave some advice down in the comments below. That'd be greatly appreciated. Oh, I got it to a nice baby blue consistency. Maybe I put too much hardener and that's why it's so blue. Uh, I guess we'll never know. Okay, I think that's well mixed. Oh, never mind. There's a whole streak of blue right there. Ignore me. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's ready. Bang. <gasps> oh yeah, I definitely made way too much. <laughs> I really hope I'm not pressing down the fiberglass. I might be, but fuck it. way too much hardener. Here's the progress for now. It looks absolutely ugly at the moment, but I promise once we sand it down, it'll look a lot better. This one right here kept falling down when I was putting in the Bondo, and I didn't realize that, so when I pushed it back up, all that came out, we got a little nipple going on. How you doing, man? I texted Joseph saying I couldn't make it over today because we actually ran into a lot of issues with the Bondo. I want to say it's 99.99% user error. But this is before everything is sanded down. It came out a lot better than the very first time I did it because I put in a shit ton of hardener, but this time I only did a little bit, which also means it's going to take a bit longer to dry. So we'll check in a couple hours and then start sanding. So I just showered. I'm actually about to head off to Trader Joe's to pick up some food. Hopefully that'll give the car some extra time to dry, but this is how it's looking so far. Ooh, feels solid. Check it out. This is my first time seeing the car with no spoiler. It actually looks pretty good. I've only rejoined the modded life a day ago, but man, I am loving every second of it. What's up, buddy? What's up? Even though my AC's broken, these are by far some of the coolest things I have in this car. Just look at that, ain't that sick? Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get my shopping done right now and I'll show you guys what I pick up. So we just got back to the car right now. As promised, I said I would give you guys a haul. I ended up picking the Hatch Chili Mac and Cheese and the Reduced Guilt. I have never tried this one before, but it should be interesting. Mozzarella sticks are a must. These two pack chicken burritos, dude, these are goaded. 20 grams of protein for each one. Last but not least, I picked up two Caesar salads and the grand total of all of that was only $20. And I was about to go drop 20 on one burrito. Safe money. Anyway, I am starving, so let's head home. I know I'm gonna add a spoiler on sooner or later, but I actually do like the look of the spoilerless SI. It looks really sleek. Hey yo, there's a clean ass Porsche up there. Oh, get out the way! Hold a minute, check that out. Woo! Sexy. Everything is now rock hard. We can start the sanding process. So I ended up sanding all of this down with 80 grit. And even then it's already smooth, but we want it to be super smooth. So we're gonna jump up to 180. And after that, we're gonna do 400. And just to be extra, we'll even do 1500. This 
is after the 180. This is after a light round with the 400. Check that out, man. That looks amazing. Look at that one. That's so perfect. But now let's go ahead and hit up with some 1500 and then we should be done. Just like that, folks, I am done sanding. Check it out, y'all. I know it looks funky because it's not paint matched, but once the wrap is over it, you wouldn't even be able to tell that there were ever holes in the first place. Here's some more clothes. See, that's really not bad. For my first time using Bondo, it could have turned out a lot worse. I'm closing my eyes right now. I can't even tell where the holes are. I was sanding so long that I got a little wart on my thumb now. One last, last thing we gotta do before we send the car off to get wrapped is we're gonna go ahead and wash it. I know Joseph's probably gonna wash it when it gets to his house, but I don't want it to be super dirty. And the more we wash off now, the easier it'll be for him. I'm really excited for this. I've been waiting a long time. I'll try to contain myself, but anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. We're getting ready to go to the post office right now. Now that everything is completely smooth, the Bondo has now dried overnight, and this is what everything looks like. It looks freaking dusty as hell. Look at that. Man, someone literally did coke on my bumper. Ooh! Mission is a go, Koa. You ready? This boy goes crazy when the windows open. Just hit the post office, onto the ATM. Hey yo, E30? One thing I really love about living in this area is how common cars are, like specifically modified cars. Just on the way to the post office alone, I saw a Type R and a McLaren 720S on top of that E30 that we just passed by. When I was out in Minnesota, I didn't see anything. <laughs> Drink up, my child. Just finished up at the ATM. I actually saw an FDR X7 on the way in, so we're gonna try to find it again. There it is, y'all. Oh my god, that paint. We are back home right now. I'm gonna get the car washed real quick. So I found out I ran out of wheel cleaner. I've already gone through and cleaned three out of the four wheels just using my fingers. But look at that, one swipe, what? This one's already done, but look how shiny that is. I have no idea how this ended up like this, but, oh. <laughs> Hopefully none of this leaks through the trunk. If it doesn't, then we did a good job. These are also gonna be restocking on April 15th, so if you wanted to cop one, April 15th is the perfect time. So patient. <laughs> I totally forgot. I'm gonna have to take off all my decals, so right after this, I'm gonna start doing that. I'm not gonna lie, these decals are on there pretty good, so I'll probably just have Joseph do it because maybe he has a heat gun, but I'm just using my nails. Well, I guess that's that, so all that's left is we gotta drop off the car now. I'm super hyped. This is gonna be so crazy, y'all. So we got the wrap all loaded up. Check that out, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie, this feels pretty surreal to me. This is something I've always talked about to my fans and to my friends, and I started talking about it quite some time ago. But now we are finally doing it. That being said, drop a like on this video for your boy. This is gonna be a nice cruise, y'all. I was really curious as to why my car sounded a lot louder. Then I realized it's because I have the seats down. This is my first time driving like this, but it actually sounds pretty nice. but a G-Wagon nonetheless. I'm not gonna lie, driving like this has made me realize how loud my car actually is because even when I'm not really on throttle, it's decently loud. But I've never been pulled over, so I'm not sure if that's a combination of me avoiding to do stupid things or if my car just doesn't go on the radar, you know what I'm saying? I ain't complaining. Aw, oh, we in traffic, now I'm complaining. Every time I go to SF, which surprisingly isn't very often. I didn't start going to SF until I met Kristen. Before that, I've probably only gone less than 10 times my entire life, and I live 15 minutes away from one of the greatest tourist attractions. That's a nice color TRD. There it is, folks. San Francisco. There's a better view when the street's not bumpy. <laughs> Another Type R coming up. Ooh, the red looks nice. Hey. 
Got the Charmander on the side too. That's swag. Check out that G35. I saw him staring. <laughs> wow. Thanks, bud. Oh, hey, that's actually a nice Accord. So we are here with Joseph right now. Let him know your Instagram. Oh, it's a Jeep off-road. <laughs> there we go. He's a Jeep man. Yeah. I've seen his work. It looks really solid. But yeah, be sure to give him some business, y'all. This should be sick. Bye-bye. See you soon. It is good to be home, y'all. Huge shout out to my dad for driving me back. Otherwise, I would have had to walk home. We ended up stopping by this Mongolian all-you-can-eat barbecue place. And for $15 a person, it really wasn't bad. Anyways, folks, that's going to bring us to the end of today's video. But before we end things off, I have to make a quick announcement. Important dates to remember, April 15th, we're going to be restocking the entire store at 1230 Pacific Standard Time, as well as adding the new Street Legal Super hoodies, in case you forgot. And we will also be adding these plate frames to the store. Flight tag restocks? You bet. And yes, of course, we will be restocking our banners in decals so if you're hyped for that remember april 15th 12 30 p.m pacific standard time now the other important date for those of you who live in the bay area april 29th we're going to be hosting another car meet down in san jose this one's going to be from 7 to 10 p.m anyone that wants to experience a modism car meet expect nice cars vibes and a great time anyways folks i just want to say thank you to everyone who's made it to the end of the video as always your support means the world and i'm so grateful to have such a positive community if you're not subscribed be sure to subscribe and if you like this video hit that like button don't worry even though i don't have a car i still have some content lined up so yes you will be seeing me again soon but as always stay safe stay happy stay healthy and i'll catch you guys soon